Hi and welcome to vlog 14, get me to New York vlog 14 and um, daily business vlog 512 I think, no I think we're like 65 or something, I'm not sure, I didn't count. Um, welcome to Dubai, don't you just love the scenery? It is 10 past 3 a.m. And that's me just got to the hotel in Dubai. So I was trying to, this is like a window here, I'm in the hotel room. This is um, Sheikh's Eyed Road that we're on. Um, I'm in the Towers Rotana Hotel, which is really, really nice. And I was trying to get the backdrop because there's loads of skyscrapers across the, across the road. But the reflection in the window is just too much. And I'm too tired to go outside. I'm really sorry. I tried to get one in Kuwait Airport. It was so busy in the airport that I didn't, I, I was in the queue all the all the time and then as soon as I get through the queue my plane was boarding so just no time to do any tonight at all but I didn't want to miss out because I missed out so much before and I'm definitely going to do one every day now. So hi, it might be a short vlog because I'm absolutely shattered <laughs> um, but uh, yeah my day started at 8am this morning, it's finishing at 10 past 3 so I think it might be a lie-in for me tomorrow but I just wanted to check back in after our conversation last night about investment which I is a topic that um, is quite is quite interesting because a lot of people have different takes on it and depending on what stage in your journey you're watching this vlog at you may require investment or you may not require investment or you may think you require investment but you really don't or you think you don't but you really do um, so what I wanted to do tonight because yesterday I tried to dissuade you from seeking investment until you knew your idea was going to work um, and to try and get you to come up with ways where you could um, make the idea work without having to raise money. So what I want to do tonight is just give you a couple of really very brief tips on what you can do for free that um, money can't buy. Okay, so a lot of people when they start a business think that they want money for marketing. That's one of the biggest things that I hear. And business cards, I'll give you. Okay, you definitely need business cards. And business cards are not expensive, but they can be. So if you have a budget of £5,000 for marketing, you're probably more likely to spend £200, £300 in business cards. We didn't start spending hundreds in business cards until the last few months. When I started, I got Vistaprint cards and I got them free and all I had to do was pay the postage. And it was that bad that actually on the back, it said Vistaprint um, instead of saying something about uh, Amy property as it was at the time. Because I couldn't afford to get that taken off the back. That was like another tenner. Tenner was sacred in those days. So business cards I'll give you, that's less than 10 quid. That's like five quid postage from Vistaprint. So get your business cards. You don't need glossy brochures. You don't need radio advertising. You don't need television advertising. The two biggest advertising channels that you need is word of mouth and social media. And both of those are free. So that works out really well. So talking about word of mouth, how do you get word of mouth? How do you get people to hear about you if you're not spending any money to get your idea out there? Well, think about how you hear about businesses. In our modern world, when was the last time you watched an advert? Nobody watches adverts on TV. Nobody watches ad uh, really listens to adverts on radio. They just flip the channel and listen to their uh, to iTunes. And when you're watching a YouTube video and an ad pops up, what do you do? You hover your finger over skip ads. Look down. I said, hover your finger over skip ad, and as soon as uh, it says you can skip it, you hit skip ad. We don't want to see adverts. Nobody wants to see adverts. And what an advert is is it's me as the business demanding your time as the consumer for you to listen to what I've got to say about my product. And that's all the balls in my court. That's not me being um, open and welcoming and, you know, we're here if you need us and um, engaging with you as to your needs. That's me telling you about me without asking your permission. And people don't like that anymore. So it's a very interesting change away from advertising and the word of mouth aspect is now mostly communicated online. So you can still get people talking about businesses. It doesn't have to be verbally anymore. Um, but there is a way that you can get it verbally and that's through networking. And networking, so this works if you're particularly a business to business um, entity, but if you're a business to consumer entity, it also works as well. For example, business to business, you go along to networking meetings and you meet somebody who will never buy from you and you will never buy from each other. 
but because it's a networking meeting and that stuff doesn't matter, you still speak to each other and give each other the time of day and hear about each other's business and you get on and you get to know each other and you have a cuppa or a beer after or whatever it is. So then three months later when you're at a separate networking event and you're doing your pitch and somebody says, do you know what I really need? I really need this particular type of business. And you go, oh my God, I met this guy three months ago. He does that business. I'm sure I've got his card saved because you save all your cards. Um, let me take your details and I'll pass on his details to you. And then what have you done? You've got this guy that you met three months ago, a customer, three months after you met him. And what's he going to do if you've got him a customer? He's going to remember that and go, oh my God, thank you so much. Anything else I can do to help? So as well as word of mouth, networking because networking is a lot free as well there's a there's a lot of them free and a lot of them you can go to for free what's the other thing you can give for free you can give your help to somebody else who's starting their business and they will then give you their help in return so they say that the quickest way to achieve your dreams is to help somebody else achieve theirs and i'm a really big believer in that so there you go you have paid five pound for business cards you've went to a networking event you've give you know, most of them out, you go to another one, you basically give them all out, you meet people, they do word of mouth, you promote their business, so you're getting the, um, the kind of give back if you like. Okay, social media. Social media channels are free and you will never beat with money somebody who spends time on social media because social media is all about engagement so you can buy all the followers you want you can buy twenty five thousand followers but if you're putting up a post and you get five likes your followers aren't engaging with you you can have a thousand followers but each post that you put up gets something like 400 likes and 30 comments and people are constantly on your page and they're constantly referring you to other pages and stuff like that that's engagement that's you get a captive audience and a captive audience is worth its weight in gold how much did that cost you? Free. Absolutely nothing. So building your presence on social media, becoming an expert, either through social media or through networking or other kind of channels, becoming an expert is free. All you need to do is read more about your subject. You won't feel like an expert right now, but unless you're going into neurosurgery, you don't really need to spend any money in order to know what you're talking about. I rented books from the library when I first started my business because I couldn't afford to buy books. Like, this is how ridiculous it was when I started my business to think that I would actually be able to do it. I went to the library and I took out eight books a week because that's the maximum you're allowed to take out in Edinburgh Library. And I used to go there once a week and take them out and take them back. And there were books about property, there was books about business, there was books about marketing, books about accounts, whatever it was. Find the thing that you can be an expert in. And it doesn't even actually have to be particularly the product of the business you're selling. So for example, if you're in um, the field of, uh, I don't know if you sell cameras, okay? So you've started up as an independent camera salesperson, but you're quite a good amateur Instagram photographer. You can become an expert in how to use Instagram filters to take pictures of dogs, whatever it is, right? But you can become an expert in this particular niche and you grow that expertise through social media. So then people see you as the go-to person for that kind of thing. How much did that cost you? That was free, unless you had to buy the camera. But anyway, that was free. So social media, um, recommending other people, helping them build their dream, going networking, getting books out of the library, um, learning, that's free, so as the books out of the library. And the other thing that's free right now is your time. So yes, you need to put a, 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 a monetary, I'm sorry, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Yes, you need to put a monetary amount on your time. And I understand that. And everybody will say to you, but you're an entrepreneur, you should value your time at a thousand pound an hour, blah, 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 blah. Right, if you've started your business in the last three years, you're not getting paid a thousand pound an hour. Don't care what you say, you're just not, okay? Give your time away for free. Because in your time, what will happen is when you give somebody your time, they will value it more than when you give them your money. Just think how annoyed you get when somebody's late for a meeting. Think how annoyed you get when somebody lets you down or uh, doesn't show up or um, doesn't value you setting time aside for them. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's really, it's rude, it's disrespectful, um, it's upsetting, it's angering, it really pisses you off pisses me off 
and it's actually something I have a huge problem with. I have a massive problem with people cancelling meetings on me and it's nothing to do with you cancelling meeting all you want, like if there's a real reason, it's not about that. But it's the not, um, it's the not bothering, I don't like, and the being late or not turning up. But I do it to people, I do, and I don't mean it. But it really pisses me off when people do it to me and that's something that I'm trying to get better at because you can't be annoyed at something when people do it to you if you do it to other people as well. So if you're in a position where you're starting up your business and somebody invites you out for a coffee, go. Or if somebody says, you know, I'm going to this event tomorrow night, go. Give your time to whatever it is that you can do, which means you're going to get in front of as many business people as possible, as many potential customers as possible. Basically, when you're standing in the post office queue, you should be telling the guy behind you about your business, right? You get yourself in as many situations as possible, spend your time building that business, and that will be 18 hour days. You know, there's a big trend just now for you know, every day to be kind of, you know, uh, talking about hustle and, you know, you should be doing this and you should be doing that. It's not about you should be working like a dog and um, wearing it as a badge of honour. That's not what it's about. What it's about is the more time you spend building this, the less money you will need to spend on it. Some of us have, you know, you, you might not have any option. You might not have any money to spend at this point. But the more time you spend on it at this stage, the less time you'll be able to spend on it soon. Because then soon you'll be able to leverage your time and you'll be able to bring other people into your business and you'll be able to outsource and you'll be able to employ everything like that. That's fantastic. Get to there as quickly as you humanly can and you get to there quickly by spending your time, not your money. Every penny that you spend in the first year of a business is like worth tens, probably hundreds of pounds that you've wasted because you don't need to spend the money to get where you want to be. I hope I've got my point across. I can't believe I went on for 12 minutes and didn't fall asleep during it. I've got a bit of a habit of falling asleep during things just now. <laughs> That's a story for another vlog. And I'll leave you to it. Hi from Dubai. I'll find a really good location for tomorrow, I promise. And uh, speak to you tomorrow night. Enjoy. Good night. Bye-bye.